Look at the color. Look at the contrast that it does, I know, dude. dude. All the different types of piece of planks of wood, dude. It looks super cool. All right, so check this out, guys. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we just dropped some brand new merch on the website. And we actually just released our very first Goon Squad backpack. And check that sucker Damn, out. Son. And this is a very clean and super compact design. Of course, you got your water bottle holders. You got plenty of pockets. And what I'm going to be using this for is actually my laptop right there because it does have that padded pocket right there. And honestly, these are very limited we didn't drop much of them so if you want to copy one of the very first goon squad backpacks be sure to visit goonsquad.com but as of right now let's get to the video what is up guys welcome back to the channel so today we are here at the new goon squad headquarters and as you guys seen in the previous video we finally got our spiral staircase installed in the backyard and it looks super sick but it is not 100 complete because we still got to weld on the handrails which we're probably going to focus on that a little bit later what we want to work on today is actually Actually our hardwood floors on the second story where we already got started and we basically got about half of it knocked out but we did run into a little problem where we had some water damage actually it came in from the top of that window because we crawled up there this morning using a ladder and we found a big old gap over the top we actually sent pops to the store to grab some silicone so he should be back and we should get that fixed no problem but what we're gonna start with is actually trying to get that repair fixed that way we could actually move on with the rest of the floors so let's just go ahead hop inside fire up the big machine and the edger and just get straight to work. Now that is what I'm talking about, dude. Maybe we got it back to its original shape right there, dude. Dude, nice and smooth. And the good thing about this is all we used was an 80 grit, yeah, right? we didn't have to rough anything. I just wanted to try out the 80 grit, the fine sandpaper, and we ended up getting everything out with the big machine and you got it out with the edger too. So we just had to find it and we're good to go, man. Yep. And on top of that, we not only were we taking out buckles, we were taking out some water stains, dude. Yeah, dude, that water actually put like some weird stains in it, almost like some natural stain. And if you don't get that out it'll always be there so we kind of had to dig a little bit deeper in this floor but we made sure to feather everything out that way you can't even tell a difference yep exactly like nothing even happened and i mean dude it is nice and ready to go man dude, it is and the next thing that we got to do is basically seal this window that way that never happens ever again pops actually came back with some legit stuff right here some of that ultra exterior ceiling and we chose that light gray that way it kind of matches our mortar and it doesn't look off or something yep exactly and we got to do that here really soon probably a little bit later because we got rain in a couple of days not like today so yeah we're but we're definitely gonna do that as soon as it starts raining or something like that today but i doubt that's gonna happen but today one of our main focuses is to actually complete the upper level dude, right that's here. a huge task but you know what i think we can handle it dude oh yeah for sure i mean we basically got the majority of it we just got two little rooms and a hallway to do and uh, i mean if we get on it man we'll get it knocked out dude. exactly and another thing before we walk away from this window there's a stain on the sheetrock i noticed today yeah dude. that is a water stain and i'm I'm guessing since you've seen that crack at the top of the window, that's probably where the water trickled down and probably just leaked out. But everything is nice and dry. That's still solid. Just barely got any water on it. And we turned that heater on, made sure we blasted everything. The hardwood is nice.
nice and dry and all that. Yeah, we stuff. had that heater on for a couple of days, and dude, that's I think we're good here. We just gotta make sure we seal it, and we gotta make sure we buff this. You know what I mean? Yeah, but we're gonna buff this whole entire floor all together once we get that knocked out, and yeah. we're gonna give it a good buff, dude. Oh, dude, the best buff ever. That way, this thing just shines when we're done with it. Dude. I can't wait. But we got another cool piece of equipment, dude. dude. Another piece of equipment, and uh, I mean, how cool is a vacuum cleaner, dude? This dude. is a backpack vacuum cleaner that dude. we actually had to pick up. This thing's legit, dude. That's a jetpack back back right there, dude, dude. This is one of those Ghostbusters backpacks right here, dude. <laughs> but you gotta have that when you're working with hardwood because regular vacuum cleaner has wheels on it, right? And it'll yeah. scratch stuff. Yeah, you can't just really vacuum a floor with a regular one or just with a regular tip as well because this tip right here has some very fine bristles on it, prevents it from scratching the floor and stuff like that because raw hardwood, after you get it completely buffed and stuff like that, is very like uh, soft. Yeah, pretty it's pretty very much. soft. It's not, it's called hardwood, but after you get it all perfect, if you use like a plastic tip on the floor, it'll definitely put marks in it and yep, stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. And we had to whip out a whopping $400 on this device right here, but you know what? We just had to have it today, man. Yeah, we had to have it today. You can get a cheaper ones offline, probably Amazon, something like that, but we needed it today because one of our goals is to finish this floor up 100%, and I think we can handle it. But the very first thing that we're gonna do after, I mean, we're already done with that, yeah, so. Yeah, we're done. Moving on to the next thing, yeah, dude. the next thing is probably the master bedroom, and we're gonna actually take a little bit different approach to this. Instead of roughing it and then puttying it and then fine sanding it, we're actually gonna go ahead and, uh, probably putty it right now after we vacuum clean it, rough it, and then putty it again, and then find Exactly, it. yeah, we're gonna double putty the floor because we noticed some places where we could have done a little bit better, but you know what, we're gonna take a different approach like you said. And, and get all the cracks and crevices completely gone, but I say we go ahead and vacuum everything up and start puttying the whole floor up. buffing of course but we got the major stuff knocked out dude yes sir dude a couple hours later as you can tell it is dark it's actually like what eight o'clock dude something? it's like eight o'clock it's pretty late but you know what we got the main part knocked out we got what we wanted to we're not just yet completely finished with the buffing but you know what as long as we got the rough sanding finished the fine sanding and you went ahead and edged everything both of the rooms 
the hallway. Look how good the hallway looks now. You know how rough it was? Dude. Now it's nice and smooth, dude. That was like a foot massage as you walk by right there. So we might have should have left it. You know what I mean? I know. You just <laughs> rub your feet on it and just massage them. But, dude, that just looks super good. And you had the edge of both of the closets. I mean, every closet, even the laundry mat. I mean, the laundry room. <laughs> the laundry mat, laundry room. Yeah, everything is nicely sanded. Got, I actually had to rough sand this hallway because it was pretty bad. And then I find some, dude, fine edge, I mean, all that stuff. Dude, dude, the edger did take a good bit of time. And usually we'd probably have like two edgers and we will both be on one. But you know what? We just happened to have one and we actually got it knocked out today. Do you know that was our goal? And we basically did it, dude. Yep, right in the nick of time because we actually had to return the edger tomorrow. And uh, that way we don't have a late fee or anything oh, yeah. like that. So to, or Today was our last day, or uh, tomorrow's our last day? Tom uh, oh, well, we got to drop it off tomorrow in the morning, so, oh, so we're I right mean, on schedule, right dude. Right on schedule, man. I'm glad we knocked this out, but you know what? Tomorrow, we're going to come in, we're going to buff everything, and we're going to do our final or our first ever uh, oh. coat on the floor, which is just going to look super good, and we decided that we're going to go with natural, right? A natural finish, but a special natural. It's not going to be polyurethane. It's going to be actually, I think, water-based? Yeah, maybe? I think it's a water-based finish, and uh, the water-based finish and all that good stuff is going to make it look as natural as possible give it that a pure color of the actual hardwood floor itself but you know what we'll show you guys exactly what we're talking about once we pick that up tomorrow in the morning right yep, tomorrow in the morning along with some more hardwood for the downstairs right yeah we're picking up more hardwood from the downstairs that's why we want to knock this out and uh, we did we got a call today that our cabinets are actually here in our town so they're ready to be brought here and installed so we got to get these floors done as soon as possible dude. yes sir I mean the downstairs floor should fly by pretty dang quick it's all glue down and it's like gonna be super easy to finish it because yeah. it's gonna be brand new floors yeah it's gonna be brand new floors i believe that we may have to just fine sand that floor and that's it you know yeah, what i mean definitely because it's some sort of different this is like the real wood right here it's like super thick that other stuff's gonna be a little bit thinner it's real wood but it's still thinner yeah it's thing. a really thin piece of wood so i guess we'll just like fine sand or, or even buff it who knows but we'll figure that out later as of right now i guess we're gonna have to catch you guys tomorrow in the morning Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here. We just got done ripping the good old Toyota, man. Remember back in the day, dude? You just come in here, rip a few donuts in the morning, and you're good to go. <laughs> dude, that was the very first thing we did was actually uh, hop up on that forklift and started unloading wood, and then you had to just throw in a few donuts you here and there. You had to, man, but dude, I got a little bit dizzy. I had to go backwards a little bit, but you know what? We loaded up our wood for the downstairs. We got everything, our buckets of glue and all that stuff, and we are just ready to go, dude. Dude, we got, it. We got enough to cover the whole entire downstairs. We got plenty of square footage, and we are going with a thinner plank like we mentioned before. Yeah, we're going with this wood right here. Here. this is real wood at the top but i mean this is all real wood it's just the way they build this stuff it's really thin you can't really sand it with a big machine i think we'll just end up buffing this floor or something like that yeah dude. it should be a super simple process and this should go super quick so i'm actually excited about that you know what i mean yeah, and this is not nailed down this is all going to be glued since we're on a slab so we got two five gallon buckets which should be perfect dude yes sir yeah we got the glue we got the trowels we got everything that we need and, and we even picked up our finish so exactly we're probably gonna head back up on the mountain buff the rest of that upstairs make it nice and clean and probably do our very first coat of finish on it
Dude, look at that grain, dude. Like when the sun hits it at a certain like angle, dude, you can see that grain and it looks super good, dude. That's why we got that special finish because you will be able to, I think you still will be able to see that grain, right? I think it's gonna pop even more just because it is water-based and we were talking about the water popping method. That's exactly what it does, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's basically what it does. It's just not on a very aggressive scale. Like without, it's not like you're spraying water and wiping it off. It's actually just a water-based finish it's uh, way better and it's just gonna make the floor look as natural as possible. Yeah. You know and what there's mean? not gonna be like what, usually most of the time people will do polyurethane, which is uh, oil based, right? Yeah, it's like a urethane oil based type of stuff. It's a very strong type of finish, but I think it, oh, it like it like turns the hardwood yellow if you have like white wood, like we have red oak, you know? Exactly, exactly, that's what I was gonna say. Over time it'll turn it yellow, but that water based stuff will keep it nice and pure, dude. Yeah, and you can uh, go ahead and like coat it two times uh, for your very first coat like we're gonna coat it one time and then about an hour or two it'll dry out then we'll coat it again and we should be good until we move in dude. yep exactly yeah that stuff dries super quick but other than that dude we got everything buffed we ended up scraping a couple more corners uh, we buffed with the 80 and then the uh, 150, 150. And, and we got it smooth, man. That looks really good. And this vacuum cleaner right here just vacuumed it all up. Hey, that, that vacuum dude, sucks, dude. dude. It does. It sucks. It's probably <laughs> one of the, I don't know, dude. I think after using this, it's a pretty dang good vacuum cleaner right here, It's dude. pretty decent, yeah. So I'm happy that we uh, that we got that thing and it's working for us. You know what but I mean? Dude, it's time, man. This time, Dad brought a snack out here. So we're going to have a snack right quick and what, probably... Hop back up in here and throw a coat on the floor. What you think, dude? Dude, that looks good, dude. dude. That looks super sick. We got the whole entire floor coated. And look at the color. Dude. Look at the contrast that it does, I know, dude. dude. All the different types of pieces of planks of wood, dude. It looks super cool. It's definitely a totally different color than the raw hardwood, but we did use the most rawest, I mean, of finishes that we can possibly find right here. So this is like your water-based stuff. Uh, this is like, if you want pure harbor floors, I believe this is what you go with. That's right the way here. to go. That's gonna keep your floors as close to natural as possible. Like we mentioned before, the polyurethane would turn it yellow. This keeps it white as possible. Yeah, as white as possible. It did change it a little bit of different color, but I believe once it starts drying out, it's definitely gonna fade to a lighter color because right now it's still really wet, so it's kind of darkish. But once it dries up, it's gonna look super good. And we actually used a uh, semi-gloss on the upstairs floor and we're, once we do the downstairs floor, we're gonna use a satin finish. That way we can see the difference between both and which one we like the most. And then on the third and final coat, we'll choose which one we'll go with and that's gonna be our coat. Yep, exactly. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea right there because it may throw it off a little bit. Maybe one may be better than the other, but we're still gonna buff this one more time before we throw that last coat and it's gonna look even better. Dude, dude. it's gonna smooth everything out perfectly. I just like how everything looks way better than new polyurethane. This stuff is 
way quicker, and I believe you get the best looking floor with this kind of exactly, stuff. Exactly, yeah. So we are basically, I'd, I'd say 98% done with our dude, hardwood floors. Honestly, dude. you can just go ahead and slap all your appliances on here, finish the house off, and just leave it like this. But you know what? We're going to do our three coats or our two coats and then work on the house, uh, take the floors up, and then whenever the house is 100% complete, we're going to go ahead and buff the whole floor and then do our final, final coat. Final coat, dude. Yeah, man, we're getting so close here, dude. I'm so happy to see this right here. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and probably do a second coat tomorrow because it's kind of chilly, so it's taking a while to dry. Yeah, it's definitely going to take a couple more hours than two to three hours, like it's mentioned, because that's like probably in the 70s. It's like in our 40s right here, so... We're gonna go ahead and let this dry. Uh, I think we need to go ahead and seal up that window before we damage this uh, beautiful floor right here, dude. Yep, we got rain coming in here real soon, so let's hop out there and get it done. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so we finally got that window completely sealed up with some silicone. It was super sketchy up there, but we had to do what we had to do. And hopefully no rain actually penetrates, but I guess we're just gonna have to find out either the easy way or the hard way when the rain comes down. And hopefully we don't have to repair any more floors. But for the next video, that's probably gonna be it for today. In the next one, we're probably gonna go ahead and start installing this floor on the concrete slab, which we're super excited about that because as soon as we get all this knocked out, the cabinets get installed. This house is just gonna get closed in here really soon. And there is a few other epic things that we have planned but make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace